Okay, so this is just a quick video just to show where I'm up to at the minute with this build. As you can see, I've done quite a lot at the minute. I've uh, started from the side, I've replaced the side panel with pair specs with the motherboard straight on. It's quite easy and simple to do. This is the old tray that was in there. Cut that straight out with a Dremel tool. And this is also where the hard drive will be. Obviously, I'll be upgrading to SATA's. They are on order at the minute. And some um, 90 degree angles Molex connectors that will cable will eventually go up there into there like so. But I will be upgrading to the SATA as soon as they arrive. The front, nothing's really changed apart from this little button up there to turn it on and off. I'll show that it later on when it lights up. Going to the front, as you can see, all UV green cables, all these cables here, add to this fan controller. They will be going round there, down there, or somewhere down there. Obviously I need to get round to that. I am um, to get round to replacing the rest of the plugs with them. Also they're quite hard to find. But I managed to pick them up off the internet. Little fan connectors in UV green. Um what else do we have? They're the Molex ones. And also, a little idea of them um, get an extension cable for the uh, main power source to the motherboard. Obviously these need tidying up a bit so it goes green, blue, green, blue all the way down. Got to get round to that. Going into the case, I've uh, come up with a way you know, into all these, all my cables there. My Molex connections in there, which simply will be, I can find where it is. There, they'll plug straight into there. Underneath there, and they'll plug straight into there. Keep them nice and neat. Again, all about cable management. Again, need to put a Molex on that one. Turn it around the other side. We can see there. Just clip over like that. Right, so I will be changing that one into uh, green as well and sorting out that. Just getting around to doing it. Flip it around the other way. Power supply, all I've done with this is put some of this which is just st sticky back plastic with the, cr the chrome effect, put that on on the power supply there, just give it a bit of a shine. Um, let's take the hard drive case out, give you a little look inside, I've got up to. Obviously because the front of this case all the front of this was built by myself so obviously I haven't really got a panel in there to cover it all up so I just made one out of um, black pair specs cut some holes out for the fans for the front and the cables will be coming out there like so and down just to keep it as neat as I can obviously there's a lot of dust I will be getting round to cleaning all that out once this is finished. I'll be taking everything back out again and um, getting it sandblasted and resprayed because obviously I've scratched the paint off as I've been doing all this. So I need to get round to doing that sometime. There we go. Just cut the hole out of the pair specs there. Just put some of this um, edge trim on, just neatens it up a bit. And what else? Got these little switches there that go green, well, go blue. The tips of them light up blue. You turn them on. They're just to turn these different lights on. I'll have um, two ca cathode converters in there for the power. Got some more here. Um, just getting them all in, really. And uh, I think that is about it. So I'll turn it on, show you what it looks like turned on as it is, so I'll power it up.
so you can see what it looks like. <laughs> Try again. Right. I'll power it up so you can see what it looks like. There we go. I'll show you the switch. Blue ring. Thought that was a nice touch. Show you the inside. So, obviously, I've got more of these black lights, UV lights to put in. They are on the way. So, switches, they're not wired up at the minute, but I'm getting round to that. Show the other side. It's also a fan controller that I'm modding into the power supply just to turn the fan up and down just to get it nice and quiet. And there we have it. And there we go. Also, if you can see there, I've changed that lead for a blue one. There used to be a green one on there. Didn't like it, so I've got the soldering iron out. Unsoldered it off the motherboard. Pops that one on there. I don't know if you can see, but all these little caps, I've managed to put each shrink tube in around them and shrink them so they all glow in the UV. Side panels uh, here. I've just finished these actually the other day. They used to have the mesh in, again, one keen on the mess. So, changed it for pair specs. Quite a simple and easy job to do. And the other one, there we go, like so. Also, I did a, an angle on the side. Makes it pretty easier. Put all that in there show you what you, you're going to be seeing. Okay, so that's not on properly yet. Just rushing it really just to show you what it will look like. Go, let's put the side one on. This one. I was thinking about putting hinges on these doors, but I don't know yet. I mean, I want to crack on with this build now because it's seven months it's taken me to get to this stage, and it's becoming a bit of pain in the ass. So there we go. Power it up for you one more time just so you can see what it looks like. Give it another little spin. Dim the lights a bit. There we go. So obviously, long way to go yet, but we're getting there. So uh, subscribe, give us your comments, let me know what you think, any ideas, and uh, that's it for now.